Hello, it's been a solid minute since I've made a proper video rather than screwing around. Um, but yeah, um, I thought today I'd address the meta that we have right now and what I believe are the key underlining reasons why, well, of course, everyone knows um, Lightning Briar being able to basically steal the entire game. Um, personally, this meta is the most healthy meta we've ever had before um this is even including welcome to wrath as well because it was basically dorinthia and kind of katsu just like edging out at the top and you had the bravo and the um bravo and the rhino just at the bottom but yes so lightning briar there's a lot of key elements to the reason why this hero is so strong um and why the whole meta revolves around lightning briar right now and the main card is Plunder Run. Plunder Run now is seen in multiple decks. There's even a Rhinar deck that I saw today that's now playing it. Um, Viserai uses it, Chain still uses it, and if you want to be an aggressive deck, you run Plunder Run. But Plunder Run, in, we've, we've had Plunder Run around for a while, and it hasn't had such an impact as it has now. You could attribute this to Bri being able to get extra go again um, with her embodiment of lightning. Um, but, and like of course with Chain as well, being able to arsenal it and then play it from here. Um, but yeah, the, the main meta right now solely revolves around Plunder Run. And there's a whole reason why. Of course you get the extra buff of the attack if you play it from your arsenal. You can get it for free by using it with Spellbound Creepers. Um, not free, but like you can get the extra draw with Spellbound Creepers. So simply by removing this card would potentially fix the meta. But the thing is, I don't think it's such a problem as what everyone keeps saying. Um... The main reason why I believe that Plunder Run isn't the issue, I think it's the underlining features of Briar, that is. Briar came out of an elemental set with three heroes. One of them, you have to um, use a card from your arsenal uh, to gain a, like an ability off with hero ability. The second one, you have to pitch as a defense reaction. And Briar has two extremely powerful hero abilities. That have nothing to do with elemental or anything around the like the whole set it's just a hero that has if you hit you get plus one if you play two gain go again and i really think there's a big design flaw around briar and as i was attributing it to before if you don't block against a briar you they get free advantage by drawing they get the extra advantages off all their attacks and then, but if you block against them, you just lose so much momentum against them because they get the extra embodiments, they get the extra everything against you, and you potentially don't have a real way to beat that deck. So if we ban Plunder Run, it's a really simple fix for now, in my opinion. But the thing is, once Plunder Run goes, and let's say Briar, like, we find good measures on how to beat that deck, all the aggro decks might not be able to stick up with all the, like, let's say, mid-range decks and the, the big setup decks. And there's two other really big problems in this, what well, could be meta for the future. And one is Toma Divinity Prism, because... <laughs> If you haven't been like a triple tome of divinity during the late game, you you, you, you don't <laughs> you don't understand. And the other one is Saber Bolton. So without Plunder Run being in the game, which I think is a key essential to this game, you can have two extremely oppressive decks, and even Leviathan as well. Leviathan is extremely powerful, especially with Hexagore. But the thing is, it's the the one card plunder run in my opinion that's holding back these extremely powerful decks so simply just by banning the card that makes aggro good doesn't solve the meta it just solves it for now and then 
like more dominant decks come out. So, one, Plunder Run goes, and then we have a, a really weird moment, and then all the really big, like, mid-game and really big uh, uh, late-game decks start to take over the meta. And in per my opinion, I think there really needs to be an aggro element to this game. There really needs to be. Old Him is an amazing hero that kind of keeps it in check as much as they can as much as it can kind of same as like like reiner and even kano to some uh, to some consent a uh, content but i don't think plunderer needs to go it's just briar it's another elemental hero that has no conditional requirements for its hero ability it has none it just needs to hit and needs to play two cards of course we can attribute this to like you know the Rosetta Thorn being extremely powerful in the deck too, but it, it, in my opinion, it's just Briar. And it's another ball that LSS has dropped again, um, and I really think the, the fix that they're going to do is do something to Plunder Run, and, and I don't want them to. I think it's a really good card for the game. We could go into the semantics and say maybe the first attack, if it hits, you gain the buff. But we're just going too convoluted. We're changing a whole card where simply LSS just needs to sit down and actually test the card, the, the heroes and the cards they make. This is a quick video. Um, I do believe these decks are beatable. I'd like we, we see it every day um, the, the one of the main reasons why Briar was doing so well is because it was a completely new deck everyone's on the earth build everyone was like still experimenting and all that um, but yeah don't ban plunder run just just stop making overpowered rune blade heroes please that's it for the video peace